Bist du machst mir Angst. Das ist ein Disaster. Oh no. You wanna press the button? You wanna press the button, please, here? And off. Take the button. Yay! Should we open up the curtain? Sure. Good morning. Are you changing it? You love this thing. How excited he is. You love it? Do you love it? Did mama open your curtains? Hey, bedhead. Do you want to come out? He's like, give that to me. <laughs> Hi, did you have a good sleep? The one finger is like, I want to press it, mom. Do you want to come out? Oh, do you see yourself? Do you want to see yourself? Who's that? Is that Lisa? Are you giving a kiss? There's a blue dragonfly. Excuse me. Bye. What are you doing with it? <laughs> Good morning guys, so I don't know if you can tell but it's a gross day out there. It's cloudy, overcast, gross, cold. So it is going to be an inside day today. Um, we are out of bread. We have been making like Instacart orders and not like in avoiding the stores as much as possible for groceries or making uh, an order online and then giving us a pickup date. So our next pickup I think is like sometime next week but we are out of bread and my mom made me like a homemade book which I'll show you guys in a second um, for Christmas. And it's a bunch of like all my favorite recipes that she would make as like when I was a kid or living at home and stuff. And there's a homemade bread recipe in there. <laughs> June and I have never made bread before, but we're gonna give it a shot and get Grayson's assistance because I ended up making him a learning stool. Like the day after I talked about making one, we made one. So we ordered wood. They did curbside pickup at, what was it, Home Depot? Yep. On Wednesday? Yep. Wednesday we ordered it and then got it that morning and then put it together. And then yesterday being Thursday, I painted it. So this is what it looks like. So that's his little step to step up and that's where he stands and then it's like framed in so like he doesn't fall out. Only downside with like curbside pickup is I'm very picky with the wood that I pick out and you can't go in the stores and pick out wood. So we didn't get the best wood. I did sand it down and paint it to the best I could but I was kind of disappointed with the wood that we were given. I'll show you guys. Like this is sanded, sanded down but like that is the crappy wood that we are given. Like it has like holes and stuff in it, but I did the best we could with what we were given. And all that wood cost us what, like less than $9, like $8 for all that wood. So I mean, and it works and he loves it and it's sturdy. So for $8, I'm not gonna really complain. But Grayson's just gonna eat a snack now and then we're gonna attempt to make homemade bread. Are you excited, Grayson? Are you excited? Are you excited to make bread? Yeah. You having crackers? You having a cracker? You are you the cutest thing? Right, so this is the book. Don't mind the Easter eggs. We're gonna maybe paint Easter eggs as well today. So has a bunch of like recipes, like my mom's recipes, my mom's handwriting in like a scrapbook form. So we've got like salads and main food. I think like breakfast stuff or like soups at the beginning. There's desserts at the end. So it was like apple pie, for example, peach pie, la da 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 da. Where's the, the bread recipe? Where'd it go? So she has white bread as a recipe, 
There is brown bread and oatmeal bread in here. So we're gonna attempt to make white bread. It makes eight loaves, but we're only gonna make probably like two or four, so maybe maybe four. You can freeze the rest. So that's what we basically got going on today. It's a fun indoor day, just hanging out as family, baking, nothing else to do in quarantine, so uh, we're gonna make the best of it. All right, Grayson? Are you having cheese now? Are you having cheese? Are you eating cheese? <laughs> All right, we're gonna let him eat and then uh, make some bread. I'm getting out the stuff we need. Thank you. What else do we need? Oh, we don't need that. Measuring cup, good choice. Are you hiding behind the curtains? No, we can make ice cream. <gasps> Where'd Grayson go? Uh oh, Grayson's gone. Baby, I can't find Grayson. Grayson, where are you? Grayson, where are you, buddy? Where are you? <laughs> So while the two of them are in the living room playing, I got the first step of the bread. Um, it's just mixing water, yeast, and sugar together and let that rise for five to 10 minutes. So that's what I was doing while they were in the living room playing. And now um, we're ready to start. Look, pour it in. That's it, good boy. <laughs> Might have lost a little, huh? That's okay. You just wanna squeeze the butter? All right. All right. Is that half? Right? Two and half? It's one. It's supposed to be four. We're doing okay. two. I'm reading my ingredients. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Should I have that Do music? Was it off? There we go. Um, <laughs> Oopsie <laughs> days. I did that. Cup, one cup of flour, mix about half a cup on the counter and knead the dough. Nice chef hat. <laughs> Just in time to start kneading the bread. You guys, his, his curls are coming through that. Aren't you cute? <laughs> he has to taste everything. I know, he's so cute. You licking the flour from the, the counter? What is it? <laughs> Goose face. Do you smell it, Grayson? I smell quite. Mm. All right, the dough's in there. I just gotta let it rise for an hour and a half, covered. See you later. All right, so while the dough is rising, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what we have in Grayson's Easter basket in case some of you guys are wondering. So it's just basically me an informal what's in my child's Easter basket. So this is the Easter basket that we had last year for him. That I just saved, obviously, and then the grass as well. So all of these items are going in the basket and these are his bigger items so he has a little duck because he's obsessed with ducks right now every time he sees the duck he's like duck 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 so he's a little fluffy duck duck he has flashcards to work on some more words and language two bubbles so green and a blue he has a lint chocolate bunny 
I thought I saw monkey. He has a bunch of these books. Like I thought I saw a dinosaur. I thought I saw a lion. I thought I saw a bear. Like there's a bunch of them and they just like slide over and peek. And they're like in different locations. So it's really cute. He loves these books. So I thought I saw monkey. He just has some egg shaped sidewalk chalk. And then the last thing is like this fishing rod for the bath. And then this is like a little magnet. And these are all little pieces that he can catch while in the bathtub. So that's that. And then he has a tender leaf toy already, but his is like a tree with like stacking little pieces on. And then this one is actually for counting, which he can learn like how to count and stack things. So he likes to stack things right now anyway. So this is perfect for him. And then his big toy this year is his cleaning Melissa and Doug set. As you guys know, he loves to clean. He has a, he got a Dyson for Christmas. So that's just his Melissa and Doug cleaning set. So these are like more of his big items and then this stuff is all going to go inside his basket. So welcome to the first annual Cavanaugh. Easter egg painting competition. I just want to quickly say something before we start painting eggs. Hopefully Grayson will <laughs> let me. But um, I was just saying to Judy how I'm grateful for this whole pandemic not in the way that it happens like the fact that like people are dying and getting sick like obviously I don't want that but the quality time that the three of us are spending together and making memories like Judy was not really a big cook and now she's like cooking most of the meals like in crock pot we just made bread together as a family we built Grayson a learning stool we've done a gate which I forgot to mention that we actually um did our gate that I've been talking about forever to do and I was really upset going back to work and not having like my one-on-one -on -one quality time with Grayson before like the new baby arrives. And I guess like my wishes were granted. I wish it was in different circumstances, but I'm really loving the quality time that the three of us are spending together. I just wish it was under different circumstances, but I'm very grateful for this time that the three of us have and memories that we're making before the new baby arrives. Uh -oh. All right, that's it. Paint your egg. No, paint your egg. Look. Paint your egg. Can you paint? I lost my egg. Well, Grayson lost my egg. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> this is a disaster. Oh no. I thought this would be cute and fun. Oh well, continue on. <laughs> we painted the egg. Grayson, Grayson, that's your egg. You want my. <laughs> Hercules! It's <laughs> mine. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna tie dye mine. I'm tie dye it. I'm going to color mine yellow for Oh no. Jason lost his egg. You're out of the competition. You're out. Do you want to do some blue? <laughs> or yellow? Oh, here we go. There. This Whoa, is what? This is what these are for. <laughs> yeah, no, yucky! Oh, it's a yucky. nuts for. <laughs> yucky! Yucky! Is he eating it? Yes! Oh, that's a good one. Nanas, don't that's eat it. This yucky. Brush. I think we won it. <laughs> yeah, I win. <laughs> <laughs> I won. All right, so it's been quite a bit, a couple hours actually. So after we finished painting, we hung out as a family and played in the living room. And I was going back and forth dealing with the bread. I didn't know that bread took this long. Like you basically have to knead it and then put it in a bowl and cover it for like an hour and a half to let it rise. And then pound on it or something and then put it in the loaf pan and then cover it again and let it rise some more and then bake it. So I think there's like 10 or less minutes left in the oven and then we are going to enjoy it with our dinner. I ended up making two loaves and then I think like five or six like buns like rolls so we can have with our dinner tonight but I made the mistake of telling Judy like we should make this like a a good Friday tradition because today is Good Friday and she was like yeah but I was like oh like do I want to do this every year but I guess like once a year like it could be a tradition that we make homemade bread together so it'd be kind of cute so I'm just gonna wait for it to get the oven show you guys the finished product and then yeah that'll be it so I lied I think this might become a weekly thing if you guys could smell my house right now oh my goodness I'm in heaven the rolls are just waiting for them to cool and then we've got sweet potato, mashed turkey and carrots and some gravy for dinner. Is it good? Is it good? You want some gravy on yours? <laughs> How's your bun? 
Mm. <laughs> Mason wants some. Sorry. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's hot. It's so hot. Let that cool off for him. Mm. He's dancing. He's like, give that to me. And he's such a carb lover to begin with. Like, he's going to be... I'm having. Are you blowing on it? Listen, how's your bun? You made that. Yeah, you helped mommies make it. Is it good? Mmm, yummy. Is it so good? Yeah. Someone likes his creation. So that's basically it for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're gonna finish our dinner, give Grayson a bath, and put him to bed. So if you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. A kiss? So give me to my bread right now, Mom. Give a kiss? Give a kiss. Give a kiss. <laughs> give a kiss. Give a kiss. Aww. Are you loving your bread? <laughs>